Okay. Hey guys. Uh, so we are going, this video is for you to complete your work for Thursday. It is also, um, your Thursday work isn't going to go into your Monday work, but this particular vid video is just for your Thursday work. Now you're going to open up the uh, assignment called Explore Physical and Chemical Change, and you're going to open it up with Cami. Okay. And you're going to, the page you're going to complete is number is page three which looks like this <clears throat> okay I'm going to do some experiments and i um, going to describe what I see and hear and feel and you're going to go through and um, put x's on the things that I say for each one of the um, mixtures now for this last one number four you're actually going to cross out that whole thing because we are not going to do that one because I do not have sodium carbonate. Um, so we're only going to do one, two, and three. Okay. Um, I remember you're opening this in Cami. Okay. Uh, so we are going to do that. There's two ways you can do this. You can split your screen between your worksheet and Cami and this video if you know how to do that. The other option is to have paper and pencil in front of you so that you can um, write down your the observations and then work and then fill in your worksheet later. Okay, so that's two options. You can split split screen between this video and your worksheet, or you can have a paper and pencil in front of you and write down those observations. I would just have a paper and pencil in front of me just because it's easier. Okay, now there are three substances that we are going to mix with grape juice. Now, on your worksheet, number one is uh, sodium bicarbonate, which is this one. Okay, it's just baking soda like you would put in um, when you're baking or into the fridge to make the fridge smell better. Um, it's powdery, it's white, um, white substance, okay? The second experiment is magnesium sulfate. That's this one. It looks like little white crystals, kind of like sugar. Okay. And then the third one is calcium chloride. And that looks more uh, like white, like dipping Dots ice cream. So little white balls of calcium chloride. Okay. So we're going to mix each of these with um, grape juice and observe any changes. Um, so we're going to go with number one first, which is the sodium bicarbonate, the baking soda. I'm going to pull up my directions here so I know what I'm doing. Okay. I also need spoons. So one second. So, add 50 milliliters of red, cab of red grape juice, a uh, solution of the Cup Lake Bold Sodium Bicarbonate. Stir with a clean spoon and observe any changes that occur and report on the data table. Make sure to change the outside of the, touch the outside of the cup to observe any temperature change. Okay, so we're going to mix some of this grape juice with your, the sodium uh, bicarbonate and see if there's any changes. So let's go ahead and mix. You can already see that it's bubbling. We're going to stir. So that's one observation. You should have already put on your piece of paper number one and observation that it is bubbling. There is also a color change. You can, I'm trying not to spill it, but you can kind of see the bubbles up at top. So there is a color change. There is bubbles. There is no temperature change. It didn't heat up or cool down. So yes, a color change, no on temperature change. There is a gas produced because there is bubbles here. Um, no precipitant formed. There's no, uh, no extra solid in there. So 
it is evidence of a chemical change because um, there's bubbles and the color change. Okay, so now we're going to do number two, which is the magnesium sulfate, which is the one that looks like uh, sugar. Okay, so again, there is a color change. There is bubbles. Uh, Doesn't feel like it got any colder, but it might have. Okay, so now we're going to go with the magnesium sulfate. That's number two. You should write number two on your piece of paper. And we're going to write any observations. Okay, so let's mix these two things together. It is getting colder, so there is a temperature change. It's getting colder. There's no bubbles, no precipitant, but it is getting colder. And as you can see, it is a color change because the um, regular grape juice is a lot darker than this mixture. Okay, so yes on color change, yes on temperature because it did get colder, no bubbles, um, and no precipitate. But there is evidence of chemical change because there was a temperature drop and because of the color change. Okay, and number three, so now on your paper you should have number three. We're going to uh, mix these together and find and observe any changes. Ooh, it's getting warm. So there is a temperature change. It's getting real warm. weird you can smell it Ooh, that's, that's really hot guys that's pretty cool Whew. so definitely a temperature change no bubbles at this moment a slight color change it's Turning a little bit lighter than the grape juice. It's really hot. Definitely a temp temperature change. No precipitate. There's no extra uh, solids in there. Okay. So definitely a, a temperature change is a lot warmer. Uh, yeah, it's turning a different color. It's getting a little bit lighter. Um, I'm going to keep stirring and see if the color changes anymore. Okay, so on your paper you should have number three. Definitely a temperature change. It's a lot hotter. It's warm. Um, there is a color change. No gas. No precipitant. And since it's getting warmer, it's actually pretty hot, um, there is evidence of chemical change because there was a temperature change. Okay? Okay. All right, guys, so go ahead and fill out that uh, first chart. 
you don't have to turn it in because you're going to actually do page four on Monday. Um, so don't turn it in, just do page three and then we'll turn it on Monday after page, we do take page four. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I know it's not the same as doing it in, in person, but, uh, hopefully you guys get the, uh, get the gist of it that a chemical change happens when there is a temperature change, um, any bubbles, uh, formed, uh, a color change or a precipitant formed, which we didn't see, um, but it's when you mix two, two liquids and get a solid out of it. Um, so just keep those in mind because on Monday we are going to do more experiment. Uh, you're going to see more experiments and hopefully we'll see a precipitant. Um, but hope you enjoyed watching and that you guys understand the um, evidence of chemical change. Have a great day, guys.